let's phone Lita. No, let's phone Lita. Because Go. let's see, because you've been crushing hearts. No, she Lita's into weird UFO -y stuff. Oh, cool. She does a podcast. Ooh, hi. hi, Nita. Hi. Like, I didn't even see you guys say you were going to call me. It just said the request. Well, uh, do you, do you, what time is it where you are? Oh, uh, let me see. It's 1024. 1024. Where are you? Where are you, Nita? I'm in Wisconsin. Oh, wow. With Greek, Greek I'm American. <laughs> yeah, lots of cheese in Wisconsin. Do you, yes. do you, do you, always, try to avoid it. Do you always have the, the black eyeliner? No. Uh, and no. You, have you been doing something tonight that, that, where you needed the black eyeliner? Yes. What have you been doing? Because you look camera ready. Um, I was. Um, I just got my dress for Vegas today. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So I posted it? it up on Insta. <laughs> what color is it? It's purple. Uh, oh, oh, nice. Are I we just meeting? Are we like meeting? My eyes? I just saw yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. That. That's perfect. So, Nita, am I right that you didn't know who I was before Above Top Secret? No, I didn't. Okay, so... Uh, I had to Google you. Yeah, uh, Above Top Secret is a website that me and Nita uh, are fans of, and um, yeah. I posted there my for a while. My home away from home for a long time. Yeah, my home away from home. But, you know, it's kind of turned really political, and I, I'm, I'm more into... I know. Yeah, I, I'm more into uh, weird stuff, you know? Yeah, exactly. I haven't um I haven't been around there as much lately because it's just kind of I feel like I've gotten about as much as I can from it. So now I contribute as often as I can, but like new knowledge. Yeah. Cuz originally I, I went there for new knowledge, you know. Yeah. Uh, anyway, yeah. I, this is this is off topic on the above top secret, but we're getting requests on what the dress looks like. Oh Can yeah. Can we see the dress? Oh. Um yeah, well, it's it's on my Instagram, guys. Um, at Nita Who okay, okay. eighty nine. So it's on there. Long? Um, it's it's floor length. It's Good. floor length, and it's got sequins. It's got okay. sequins and part. plunging neckline, and it has a cape. Oh, I like. And it, it was it was custom made. I think I bought it from like China, um, but it was custom made. So it's just it's. Fabulous. I absolutely love it. I am just... You have comfortable shoes, because I'm going to give you a heads up. In Vegas, yeah. <laughs> at every single gig, people are standing the entire time. I've never been to a Vegas show where the audience is standing and dancing the whole time. But in Robin yeah. we are. So I learned very quickly after show day one to wear comfortable shoes, because nobody sees your feet, and you want to yeah, be... Yeah, I went in March, and I about died by the end of the first night i was there for the very first show and oh my goodness i wore high-heeled boots and i, I could not think. take them off and like my feet well yeah mm -hmm. and it was bad off, i'm wearing I'm, I'm it's floor length so i can wear whatever i want underneath of it <laughs> where's some sneakers where's some sneakers yeah what, yeah i'm I mean, gonna like literally, I curse myself for wearing the wrong shoes, and nobody's looking at your feet because they're all looking at you. So. Ida, while you're here, because yeah. I asked Rob, um, second night it was that first Saturday night. Um, I brought a book for the oh. kids, and I handed it to your friend. It oh. is in my native tribal language, but it's also in English because I'm a member of the Ho Chunk Nation. I'm Native American. Oh, cool! And so it is a Native American storybook for children. Oh, cool! Um, so I don't know if, if I like, don't know if she gave it to you or you got it. Do you know who they gave it to? I'm sure it'll be somewhere about. It might be. In, I wonder. Is it we, have little, we have a little play area for the kids backstage. That we mm -hmm. set for them, so maybe it will probably be in there. In the little play area. Okay. We'd like them to feel okay. it whenever we go on the road, so they don't feel like weird tour. Oh, tour that's awesome! Place. So I bet you yeah. it's there. I haven't seen it, but if you gave it to my friend, it'll definitely be in that room. Okay. So Nico, okay. what's what's new in the world of the weird? Um. Okay. I told you that I went to see Dane Cook, but I stayed at a haunted mansion 
the night that I went there, the Haunted Moon was better than the show, right? Um, I bought this thing called a spirit box right before uh, it's, it's for EVP, right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what's EVP. Electrical so, voice <laughs> paranormal? Or, uh, like yeah. DP. It allows, well, actually, it's more than that because what it is is it like goes through radio frequencies and it allows the spirits to speak through it. Can I so just, they will can literally I just, can I just on there. You, can I just tell you, you mentioned it on the app. And I Googled it, mm -hmm. and then I went to YouTube, and I watched it working, and I went yeah. to sleep. And then the light mm -hmm. just in front of me here kept flicking on and off, and I was terrified. It's not, <laughs> it's not something that you should go and look up. No. Spouse falls no. asleep, and it's the witching hour. It's sounding quite heavy. Yeah. It's sounding really intense. I, I, I don't... I, this it was... Intense, right? um, I did an investigation of the mansion when I was there because this mansion used to be um, a what a speakeasy for Al Capone, and he used it. He had tunnels under the house that he used to transfer the alcohol and things through there. Um, and one of his um, henchmen died. Well, died. He was he was shot in the back of the head after years of being loyal to Al Capone. Um, and he's pretty angry, but he's actually like a gentle giant. Um, so, so did that? Did did words come through? Yes, yes. I'm still going through some of the files because w during the live, I had the owner's wife with me. She was very, very interested, and she's had she's had paranormal teams there with her before, but she really appreciated the way I did it because each time I walked into a room. I addressed the spirits. I thanked them for allowing us to share the space with us and to communicate with us. And they were all very friendly and open. And I think kindness makes a big difference because she said one of the teams that came in there started antagonizing the spirits and taunting them and being rude to them. And they did that with Joe, the um, the spirit of the henchman, and they got him really upset that night. But well, well, some some of these boxes, the EVP boxes, it, mm -hmm. I, I think sometimes it kind of like picks up a radio frequency or a taxi frequency or something, and then other times it's just I've got to show ID it for I don't her know to. Now, if I want to see it, it'll freak me out. Well, I'd rather watch it with you <laughs> instead of you turning over yeah. and then snoring. Yeah. Or we just not watch it because that will. Be well, crazy. you you need to be careful when you use it that you say goodbye to them when you're finished and make sure that they know that it's you time for them to go out and you're closing it's the door. Right. No, uh, listen, no, you're I, not allowed to do that in our in our room. Do not worry, I will not be getting one. <laughs> No, it, no. I, I know that I'm an infant. Skip forward to us sharing a bed with 800 dead people that are in our house. No. <laughs> yeah. No. Oh, no. The person that he came. The toilet seat. He's not going <laughs> to lie to the. No. No, I'm not. I'm not. Honestly, uh, the fact the fact that he walks out of the house closed is a miracle. It's. You know, <laughs> we're not taking this. I believe it. Okay, so for for the people watching. Uh, what mm -hmm. would they go and check out on you on YouTube? They go and check out EVP, electrical yeah. voice phenomena, and spirit, spirit box. But don't do that before you go yeah. to sleep, folks, because it is truly yeah. terrifying. Yeah. No, you know the first EVP I got though was I didn't even know what it was when it happened. I was oh, how old was I? Probably fourteen. So it was like nineteen eighty five because I'm 47, and uh, I was, you know how you used to, like, record your favorite songs from the the charts, you know, when they go through, like, you know, from course, 40 yeah. to number one? Yeah. So I had my little, my little tape recorder right next to the radio set right up, and they had a new version of Rock Me Amadeus by Falco that week. Yeah. So it was like a special mix version, and I'm recording that. As soon as it's over, I listen to it. And they have this little rap thing in the beginning where he's like, su 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 superstar and stuff like that. Yeah, super superstar. It did the beer. Mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So as it's doing that, all of a sudden it stops and I hear wind. There's a sound of wind, like almost like you would hear like in the movie Sleepy Hollow, like the soundtrack, like. Whoosh. 
And then this yeah. voice comes through and says me in a really long, creepy, I can't even try to replicate that voice. And then it goes back to wind and then back to the song. So I, I take it to my mom. I'm like, hey, what is this? And she's like, well, I don't know. Let's call the radio station. We called the radio station. And we played it for them and they're like no that wasn't on our version and the thing is this is rural Wisconsin so at that time there was maybe four or five total stations on the radio dial that you could even pick up so it wasn't like we had cross stations that could have you know crossed over and mixed with that station because they were only like they're just so there were no other stations close to it you. Need it? You hear oh there we go there we go we lost you for a second yeah. So anyways, I had that for a few years and then um, I listened to it too much and uh, my uncle erased it while I was at school one day. Oh, do we still talk to It was uncle? the only physical evidence because that was more clear. Like if you watch a ghost show, you you hear like those kind of faint, this thing was clear. I mean, it like over, it overwrote everything. I've never heard another EVP like that one, which does kind of worry me a little bit because the level of which it was, it almost feels like it might have been demonic. Ooh, so ooh. maybe it was. Words that's I a, do not like. It's the best, best for it to be erased. Do you know what happened to me with my boom box when I was a kid? Mm -mm. I was at my, um, uh, my Auntie Joe's house and, uh, I had this little ghetto blaster and it wasn't plugged in and it had no batteries. Yeah, it was working. Mm -hmm. And it was just me. And I, no. I, I couldn't figure out why or how this thing was happening. But it was just, it was working. Not plugged That's in. Creepy. No batteries. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't, um, I didn't. That reminds me, that reminds me of the house. Remember I was just talking about the house? Yeah. When I got done with investigating the house, I went to my room. I hadn't investigated the room yet, so I hadn't talked to the spirits there yet. They have these jacuzzi tubs, so I soaked in the tub, drained it, you know, turned off the jets, got into bed and was flipping through my phone instead of starting the investigation, and all of a sudden I hear this loud sound, and the jacuzzi jets were turned on high in the tub by themselves. Um, so I walked over, I turned them off and said, okay, I'll start <laughs> and I'll get off my phone. And I did. And then they shut off the lights. Um, well, one of the lights as I was greeting them and then they quit and then they let me sleep that night. So they left me alone after that, but it was like, I guess that was their way of saying, Hey, pay attention. Uh, I don't know. Uh, it's scary shit. I want to show you this EVP stuff, but yeah. I I'll watch it. She's nervous. I, I don't I, blame I, you. I don't blame I mean, you. I pretty much can barely only watch, like, children's animated movies. I don't like anything scary. He's, like, the opposite of me. I feel like this will be too scary. Just make sure you've got some sage so you can smudge after you're done, just in case. Yeah, when, I mean, when there, whenever there's any violence on the television. I do this. I, she does that. And then, I do that. And then I have to Aww. explain what's happening. And I'll be like, tell me what's happening. Which tell takes me, me right out of the moment. <laughs> and then I'll just do that. And then I'll go, no, tell me what's happening. Okay, <laughs> listen, I want to show yeah. you this. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Rob's going to show me this EVP. Listen, uh, okay, congratulations you on your dress. I'm looking forward to seeing you in Vegas. I'll Thank you. For a purple coming. floor length sequence. I can't wait to see you guys. Can't wait to see you. Okay. Bye, darling. Bye. And you look great, by the Bye. way. Thank you. Yeah, you're so camera you guys you're look so awesome camera ready. Too. And happy birthday, Ida. Thank you. Don't yeah. sweat it. I'm, I'm 40 I'm, came and went, and it was and it's fine. Right? Nothing. It's totally fine. Yeah, it was fine. I kind of want to just get it done now. I just want to like, like. I like, know, right? right? Just get it out of the way, yeah. and then you won't have to stress over it yeah. anymore. Yeah, that's what I'm. That's what yeah. I'm thinking. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna just face it and eat a lot of cake. That's what's gonna happen. Yeah, there you go. Okay. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. All right, bye, guys. Nice to speak to you, Donna. Take care. Bye. 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 bye, -bye. So there you have it.